guys, what's going on dudes? It is David and Seven and we are back with another video. Now in this video guys, I'm so sorry it's been so long. I think it's been about basically a week. But um I just finished well well one of my semesters for school and I just wanted to relax for a few days. But I am definitely back for you guys. I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot more. And to start off, we're gonna be returning with something that I've now I have my own calendar back there if you guys can see it right there there um so yeah i'm gonna be putting video idea videos for me to do and remind myself to do these videos every tuesday i'm going to do a nfl prediction video up until i get to the last team that i haven't done and then every wednesday if i can i'll be doing a prediction video for every college football team up until the 2019 season begins because once the 2019 season begins there's nothing i can do I'm definitely going to be able to get through all the NFL teams before the NFL season starts because the NFL season starts in 2000, two, what am I saying, 2000, starts in September. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Cleveland Browns, and I'm going to be doing a prediction video for the Cleveland Browns. Now, in the last video, I did a prediction, the last prediction video, I did a prediction for the New England Patriots. That did so well. So we're going to move on to the Cleveland Browns, and I want you guys to put down in the comments down below which team do you want me to do next because... I'm really considering like redoing the Atlanta Falcons now that I actually know their schedule and how their schedule looks, but I actually kind of don't because that did video that video did so well. But if you guys want me to do like a redo the Falcons, Dolphins, all the teams I did before the draft, then put that in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, let's begin with the Cleveland Browns prediction video. So, the Cleveland Browns they play the Tennessee Titans at home, the New York Jets away, the Los Angeles Rams at home. The Ravens away, the 49ers away, the Seattle Seahawks at home, the Patriots away, the Broncos away, um, the Bills at home, the Steelers at home, the Dolphins at home, then they play the Steelers away, the Bengals at home, the Cardinals away, the Ravens at home, and the Bengals away. Obviously, they're in the Pittsburgh division, so they got to play Pittsburgh, Ravens, and Bengals twice, but moving on from that, let's just begin with their schedule and my predictions for each and every game. Now, guys, like I, just, like I said, it's a prediction video. I do not know how these games are going to turn out because nobody can tell these games. Unless it's like the Patriots and it's like, let's say the Patriots are playing the Cardinals. Obviously, the Patriots are going to win that game. But in these type of games, Cleveland Brown got a tough schedule. So Cleveland Browns is not like doing New England Patriots. So it's going to be tough to predict. But like I said, it's just a prediction video. Starting off with the Tennessee Titans. Um, they're gonna they're going to be playing the Tennessee Titans at home. I don't really think Mar Marcus Mariota is a very much is a good is a very good quarterback in all honestly in all honesty, and I do think the Cleveland Browns will be the Tennessee Titans. Next, they play the New York Jets at the Jets. I think Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell are going to be too much for this Cleveland Browns offense. Even though Cleveland Browns offense is definitely going to be one of the best offense in the NFL this year. But I think the Jets are going to get the over them. And I think the Jets are going to beat the Cleveland Browns. Next, they play the Rams at the Browns. The Rams are going to be too much for the Browns. Because the Rams just made it to the Super Bowl. So I think they're an overall better team than the Cleveland Browns. So I'm going to give the Browns another loss. And the Rams are going to beat the Browns. Then they play the Ravens at the Ravens. Same situation. Three losses in a row. And that means for the first four games in the NFL season, their record will be one and three. Um, so moving on, they play the 49ers away at the 49ers. I'm going to give them the win just because I think Jimmy Garoppolo is coming back from injury and he's going to have to watch himself too, a little bit too much. Now they do still have Richard Sherman. He's going to be a problem for um, Baker Mayfield, but I think Baker Mayfield is going to pull off the win for the for, for 49ers for, for the Cleveland Browns, and I think they're going to beat the 49ers at the 49ers. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks. At the at home again at the Cleveland Brown Stadium, and I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to beat the Cleveland Browns, just because I think Russell Wilson's gonna have a comeback year, and he's gonna have a very impressive year now that they now that he has a weapon to throw to in um DK Metcalf, um but yeah, wait is it DK yes yeah, DK Metcalf, next they play the Patriots Patriots versus Brown obvious loss. Patriots are too much for the Browns. I'm pretty sure in my Patriots video, I gave the Patriots the win. This will it, it'll be weird if I kind of just went back on my word and just said the Browns were going to beat the Patriots. 
Then they have a well at the in between the Seattle and the Patriots game, they have a bye. So after the Patriots game, they played the Broncos away, and I think the Broncos are not going to be enough for the the on um, the Browns, and the Browns are going to beat the Broncos at the Broncos. <clears throat> Next, they face the Bills. The Bills suck right now. I'm not going to lie. You guys can't disagree with me. Right now, the Bills do suck. They're one of the worst teams in the NFL. Sorry to say that. I will be doing a prediction video for them later. But the Browns are going to beat the Bills because just because. And also another thing, the game is being played at the Browns. Then they play the Steelers at home. I think they're going to be able to beat the Steelers away just because it's at home. That's, that's why I think they're going to be able to beat the Steelers this way. Then they play the Dolphins. Dolphins are rebuilding. They got um, Josh Rosen. But the Cleveland Browns offense is going to be too much for their defense. And the Cleveland Browns are going to beat the Dolphins at home. At the Cleveland Browns. At, at Cleveland. In Cleveland. Then they play the Steelers away. Loss. Same thing I said with the first game with the Steelers. They're going to be playing the Steelers at the Steelers. That stadium is very, very loud. And Steelers fans can get really crazy. And I think it's going to motivate the Steelers team. Plus with the whole AB situation and Le'Veon Bell situation. That's going to motivate them to, you know, like come back and win. Yes, I did give the Browns the win in their home game, but I'm going to give the Steelers the win in the away game at the Steelers. Then they play the Bengals. Bengals are no good right now. That's the easy win for the Cleveland Browns. Then they play the Cardinals. Cardinals are rebuilding. That's a win. Ravens at home. And the Ravens are going to lose to the Cleveland Browns. And then the Bengals away. And the Browns are going to win that game. So in all honesty, the final record I predict for the Cleveland Browns will be... 10 and 6. The 6 loss is coming at the Jets. The 6 loss is coming to the Jets, Rams, Ravens, Patriots, Seattle, Steelers. And the wins coming to the rest of the teams I explained. But I want to know your guys' opinion down below. What do you think the Cleveland Browns record is going to be? Especially now that they have Baker Mayfield, they have OBJ, they have um Jarvis Landry, they have um, um Duke Johnson at running back, they have David Njoku, at tight end, this this offense is gonna be one of the best offenses in, in the NFL. But that's my that's my prediction video. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all day today. I'm gonna have a Vanessa Legends video coming out because I need to have a sit down talk with you, a real sit down talk because this situation is completely just weird. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.